In this video, we're going to talk about how to prove if a quadrilateral is indeed a kite. So let's call this side A, B, C, and D. So one way to prove if we have a kite is to show that BD is the perpendicular bisector of AC. So in this example problem, we're going to be given the following information. So we're given that BD is perpendicular to AC. And also, AD is congruent to CD. And then angle ADE is congruent to angle CDE. And let's say this point is E. So our task is to prove that BD, actually, not just that, but we're trying to prove that ABCD is a kite, which we can use this symbol to represent a kite. So keep in mind, in order to prove that it's a kite, we need to show that BD is the perpendicular bisector of AC. Now we're given a good statement that those two are perpendicular already, but we just got to prove that it's the perpendicular bisector of AC, which means we need to show that AE and EC are congruent to each other. So let's begin with our two column proof. Statements on the left and reasons on the right. So if you want to pause the video and try this example, uh, feel free. So what's the first thing we should do? Now the first thing we can do is start with the first given statement. And that is BD is perpendicular to AC. And so that's given to us. Now, because those two segments are perpendicular to each other, what can we conclude? Well, if BD is perpendicular to AC, that means that there's a right angle between those two lines. So we could say that angle AEB and angle CEB are right angles. And this is due to a definition of perpendicular lines. Now what else can we say? Now we can focus on the next given statement. And so that's AD is congruent to CD. And that's given to us. So let's make a mark on the graph. So here's AD and here's CD. So they're the same. Now let's move on to our next given statement. Number four. So we could say that angle ADE is congruent to angle CDE. And so this is given to us as well. And this is ADE and this is CDE. So we could say that this angle is congruent to that angle. Now, notice that we have a common side. So we could show that these two triangles are congruent. But first, let's say that DE is congruent to DE. And this is based on the reflexive property. So now that we show that we have a common side, we can show the two triangles are congruent. So we can say that triangle ADE is congruent to triangle CDE. And so what postulate can we use in this example? So we've shown that we have a side, angle, side. So it's based on the SAS postulate. And we use uh, statement three, that was for AD, statement of four, angle ADE, and statement five, side DE. 
So it's based on statements 3, 4, and 5. Now let's move on to number 7. So now that we've shown the two triangles are congruent, what is our next step? So now we can show that these two sides are congruent because they're part of these two triangles. So we can say that AE is congruent to CE. And that's based on CPCTC. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So notice that BD is more than just perpendicular to AC. It's now the perpendicular bisector of AC because it bisects AC into two congruent parts. So now, in step 8, we can say that BD is the perpendicular bisector of AC. And for the reason for that, we can say definition of perpendicular bisectors. A perpendicular bisector will form a right angle with the other line and break it into two equal parts. Now, step 9 is our final statement, and that is that ABCD is a kite. And the reason? Definition of kites. So if you can prove that BD is the perpendicular bisector of AC, then you show that it's a kite. Let's work on another example. So we're going to try to prove that this is a kite once more. And so let's say this is A, B, C, D, and in the middle we have E. So in this example, we're given the following statement. And that is that, let's say BD is the perpendicular bisector of AC. So with this given statement, prove that ABCD is a kite. So go ahead and try this problem if you want to. Feel free to work on it when you get a chance. Another way in which we could prove a quadrilateral is a kite is if we could show these two sides are congruent and if those two sides are congruent. So that's what we're going to try to do in this example. So let's start with our given statement and that is that BD is the perpendicular bisector of AC. And so that's given. Now what do we know about perpendicular bisectors? Well, for one thing, because they're perpendicular, they form right angles. So therefore, we could say that angle AED and angle CED are right angles. And then we could say definition of a perpendicular bisector. These things, they form right angles. Now what else can we say? Because BD is the perpendicular bisector of AC, it bisects AC into two congruent parts. So we could say that AE is congruent to CE. And the reason is the same. So we could write same as number two. It's because it's a perpendicular bisector. So number four, we have a common side. Actually, I'm going to use this side first. So that common side is DE. So DE is congruent to DE. And this is based on the reflexive property. Now, number five. We can now say that these two triangles are congruent based on the side angle side postulate. 
So let's say that triangle AED is congruent to triangle CED. So this is based on the side angle side postulate used in statements 3, 2, and 4. So now number 6, we can now say that these two sides are congruent since these two triangles are congruent. So AD is congruent to CD based on CPCTC. So now that we've shown that these two sides are congruent, so now we need to focus on these two sides. So let's see if we can prove that these two triangles are indeed congruent. So for the next statement, we could say that angles A, E, B, and angles C, E, B are right angles. And we could say it's the same as number two. So these two are right angles because BD is the perpendicular bisector of AC. So now we can say that BE is equal to itself or congruent to itself based on the reflexive property. And so now we have enough information to show that these two triangles are congruent. So number nine, we could say that triangle AEB is congruent to triangle CEB. And once again, it's the side angle side postulate. So for AE, that's based on statement three. And then this angle is based on statement seven. And this side is based on statement eight. So it's three, seven, and eight. Now, number 10, we could say that AB is congruent to CB based on CPCTC. And finally, number 11, we can make the final statement. So ABCD is a kite. And the reason for that, definition of kites. So if you could show that AB and BC are congruent, and also AD and DC are congruent. That's one way you could prove that the quadrilateral is a kite.